it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with part two of the series two Serial Squad figures. Now these are super fun because these are actually Halloween themed, so this is perfect for the month of October. There are six different original Serial Squad members that are the same as the first series, except now in Halloween costumes, plus an additional three characters that we can obtain, which are the three monsters from the Monster Mash serials. There's Booberry, Frankenberry, and Count Chocula, which is super exciting. So we have nine characters that we need to find. The three monsters are the rarest ones, and it's just kind of hit or miss on which of the six you will get if you are getting one that's not a monster. So... I don't know you guys, I've only opened two of these so far. Fortunately, I did actually get two different ones, but I am still hunting seven more. So I got another four boxes of Cheerios. I actually drove a pretty decent way to find a store called Kroger, where I was looking for two things. Well, cereal toys, which I found the Cheerios, which is so exciting. Um, but I was also looking for the Nightmare Before Christmas Squishmallows, which I can't seem to find anywhere. They're supposed to be at Kroger, Walgreens, and possibly CBS. I've had zero luck at CBS. They don't even know what I'm talking about when I go in there. And Kroger had no idea either, but it was a small Kroger store, so they might not have been able to stock that. I don't know. Unfortunately, not able to find those, but I did find all these Cheerios, so I feel like it was a relatively worthwhile trip. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the box real quick up close this is what it looks like you can see buzz the honeybee is dressed as a bat here and here are the other characters that we can obtain and there's the monsters oh i'm so excited you guys okay i'm gonna get some of these off the table so that you can actually see while i open these and here we go All right, there's four boxes. There has to be at least one I don't have, right? And I don't have any of the Cinemojis yet. I'm probably going to make another Cinemoji bowl, but of the Jack-O-Lantern ones this year. And I still haven't seen it yet, like, in person. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. That's the one I really want to see this time. But also the monsters. Maybe I'll get the three monsters and the Cinemoji. No, I'm just kidding, but that would be amazing, you guys. Okay, ready, ready, ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, no! Okay, so I got another Sunny the Cuckoo Bird. And this is it's kind of funny because there's another YouTuber that I follow who does the Serial Squad who was unable to find it in the first one. And Sunny is the one that I find obsessively through the first one and through this promotion. So just kind of ironic. If you don't find one, don't worry. I'm sure I'll have 20,000 and you can have one. Anyway, guys, <laughs> next box. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay. So this is my first Buzz the Honeybee, which is actually kind of fun that I found it in a Cheerios one. I'm going to kind of show you what the package looks like. It's not very exciting in the package. I'm going to open them up so I can actually show them to you. If you guys want to see Sunny the Cuckoo Bird up closer, uh, check out my part one of the series two videos because I do show him up closer. So he's wrapped in two things of plastic just to be complicated. Oh, cool. So I didn't think this would be that neat because I thought the wings would be too small to be able to tell that he was a bat from the front. But this is actually pretty cute, you guys. The only thing I wish they did was some, some kind of color on the antenna. And I think I said this about the first one as well. But even if just the little spheres at the end or the middle part, something, it's really hard to tell on the antennas, I feel like. But other than that, Look how cool this is! And he's got these big old wings, and they, they're they actually kind of textured in the wings. I don't know how well you can tell, but I'm trying, you guys. Oh, so neat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I found a new one. Yay! All right, guys. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm ready. They're not all the same one. This is so exciting. Okay, two more, two more, two more. And then I'm going to have to go back to the store because I know I'm not finding all of them because I told you I'm missing seven of them and I only have four boxes. So, yeah. Woo! You know? All right, here we go. Who is it? <gasps> Guys, I got a monster! Oh! Oh! Okay, so I got Count Chocula. I think he is the least rare of the three. He is a one in ten chance. But this is so exciting. So, I would really love to collect a bowl of monsters and a bowl of the Cinemoji, um pumpkins this year so I don't that's probably not super feasible on the monsters but 
I want to put all the monsters together so maybe it'll be at least a little bit less intensive but I don't know I'm gonna probably need a lot of help from audience members who are finding doubles I guess all right guys let's get him open I need to just this is I need a pair of scissors I can't I can't my excitement level is making my coordination lower okay I don't know why they put them in two things of plastic. I feel that's really unnecessary and kind of wasteful. So there's that. Oh, yep, he's awesome. Guys, he's awesome. Okay, so here is Count Chocula up close. I can't believe I found a monster this early on. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so there he is, the front and the back. The back is pretty much all brown. And honestly, there's really not a lot of detail here. Like, he's got this whole coat and everything on, but everything is just the solid brown. Even still, I kind of love it. I do love that his uh, eyebrows actually have, I guess, eyeshadow or whatever, so they are actually brown. I think that's really cool. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm, I'm good, you guys. I really didn't think I'd find any monsters yet. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so who do you guys think the last one is? I really hope that it is at least not a double because, you know, getting the double on the last one is always disappointing, right? Okay, I'm about to pour it out, but I didn't open it yet. So that was gonna go really well, guys. <laughs> Derp. Ugh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes, I got my Cinemoji. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I woke both of my dogs doing that. <laughs> I'm such a butt. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> look at this! They do not understand my toy obsession. I freak out all the time and they just look at me like I'm insane because I probably am a little bit insane, so I guess there's that. Okay, yep, yeah, we're gonna need a bowl of these this year. I was like, you know, maybe not. Maybe they won't be that cute. They're adorable. Yeah, mm-hmm. Super adorable. And they definitely look different enough. This is so cool, you guys. Oh, man. Okay, so he's orange and the the indention stripe, swirl stripe things are actually a red color, so they pop out. Now, there are little, like, stars or shiny parts or glitter or something, which, which I guess is supposed to be, like, the cinnamon sugar kind of sparkling on him, and they are embossed on this character. They're not painted separately, so they're kind of hard to see. I will show it up close, and hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Can you see it a little bit? So I think that's cool. I do kind of wish they had made that in the red so you could see it a little bit better, but maybe that just made it too intensive to look at. But I love I love this so much. I love the Cinemojis. I don't even know why. This is so funny. I don't even really like Cinnamon Toast Crunch that much, but the Cinemojis are just an amazing character. I love their design and they're so simple and cute and just, just, yes. So, ah. Uh, Yes, I only got one duplicate in all of this, so this is already super, super exciting. I got one of the monsters, I got this emoji that I super needed, and of course I'm going to need 500 million more because I got to make a bowl. But let me know what you guys thought of these down in the comments below. Who did you find? What different ones did you open? How many did you have to open to find them all if you've already found them all? You know, all that jazz. Who's your favorite? Who do you want to see them make next? Or, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do for Series 3, but... I'm intrigued and excited. I'd also love to see all of them in Christmas outfits. If they're going to do that for Series 3, I'm down. I love holiday toys. It's my jam. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed what you saw today and you have not had a chance yet, please do hit that red subscribe button down below. It is a totally free way that you can show support and love to YouTubers you enjoy. So please do that. Also, you can check out my channel. I've got plenty of other videos of toy reviews and all kinds of fun stuff on there. And of course, all the cereal unboxings because cereal toys, right? All right, guys, until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.